Hi everyone. Right, I've got a few bits and pieces that I need to... Well, I've got these, look. They're all ready made and they're just sat, so I'm going to have to make flowers to go with them. So while I'm doing that, you can watch. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the glue gun to heat up. It should be... Let me have a look. Yes, we think it's... Uh, it's on now. <laughs> So what I've done is I've gone and dug out some bits and pieces, just odds and sods that I've got lying about, some of this left, some flowers, some fabrics, um, bits and pieces, you know, that we used to sell in the shop. These are what were left. And a few doily bits, bit of lace, got some lace trimmings here. And basically, and some more bits and pieces to go on flowers so basically what we're going to do is play because I need to I can't just have this stuff sat here actually I was looking for that piece of uh, lace you got there mate yeah and uh, I'm just going to spread a few bits and pieces out on my table here and we shall play I've got some doily bits i'm just going to put them out you see because they're just those i love them i might need to cut them up so that might need cutting up a few flowers there some doilies and trims we'll take some of these bits out as well let's have a look see what we've got bit of this bit of that oh that's that trim i was looking for that and all <laughs> isn't it weird you go looking for something else and you find what you were looking for before hmm right okie dokie won't take long for that to heat up. I'm just going to pop those there. Hopefully, I'll have a look in a minute, make sure you can see. And I'm just going to put some bits and pieces on my table here. And Because uh, these were trimmings, look. Look, just leaves. Just things to play around with. Right, now let's have a look. So I'm going to need some... Let's cut some of these while we're waiting for that to heat up so I'm going to cut some backings for these and I've got this leather I've tons of this stuff so I'm going to use these as the backings because they're great for holding your pins you know if you want to make brooches out of them any bits I can save I will do and I just cut a circle they don't have to be perfect you know that so we've got some backings for them I'm just going to see, make sure you can see my hands. Can you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. Hopefully it's not too far away. Like that. These don't all have to be the same size at all. And I ne never waste anything like that. You never know when it'll come in handy. So put some of these ready and thank you all for your comments your kind comments um, on the last couple of videos where I did uh, projects I think I made the bows didn't I and that some of them have sold and don't forget we have got lots of items on sale at the moment so don't miss out go grab them at the shop the links are uh, on Facebook and on mo uh, every video You'll need the new link. It's the one with um, Marketplace in the description, in, in the email, in the address, sorry. Right, so we're going to use some of these trims. Now, obviously I do need to use some needle and thread. So I'm just going to start on some of these flowers. And like I say, I'm not, I have nothing up front of what I'm going to do. That's already gathered. When it's gathered, you only need about 12 to 14 inches. If it's not gathered, then I would use approximately 18 to 20 inches of flat lace. So I do apologise having to uh, sit and sew. But I'm just making... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do some flowers to, for my stick pins. So they may all turn out different. They may not. I know people like to see the flowers being made from scratch and we do have over four, it's approximately four to five 
hundred, four hundred and eighty to five hundred flower videos now um, on my YouTube of all different variations from uh, flower made from flowers, synth synthetic flowers to laces, uh, paper embossed, all different ones. I make lots of different flowers, and this one's gonna have a nice ruffle in it. So, like I say. Um, approximately 12 inches for a gathered lace. You can do 10 if you've got a really good gathered lace. If not, 12. Go back to the beginning. Just lay it flat a little bit. And just add those together. And like I said before, the tighter you hold this, the more the gather is. So I'm just going to make few bits and pieces and build it from there okay so we've got that very basic flower just going to hold that back glue guns about ready like that and then finger and thumb finger and thumb and we just even that out and that helps all this, um, you know, unfold properly so that it's all your folds here, all your creases are, are roughly the same and it lays flatter, although you've got lots of ruffle in it. So I'm just put the needle out of the way because I know what I'm like. Now what I'm going to do is attach one of these. Like that, on the back. And now I can just build the flower from there. So, uh, now I've got all sorts of bits and pieces that I have collected, like I say. So I've got some leaves. Which I'm going to pop on there. And I'm going to put another one with that. Let's see if I can get a different one. Yeah, you can have that. These are all just odds and sods. Um, of things to use up now I have some of these see like that uh, and you just cut them up where you want them I'm also going to put that on yeah and that's the right way so I'm going to put that on the other side like that just there Hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take this piece that I've done. Make sure I've got it the right way around. Yep. A little bit of glue on there. And I'm going to add that just there. Now, I know it looks like I've covered this, but I've not. You can actually see it all. I'm going to bring that in a little bit like that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is... Oops, so keep losing everything. I've got a little bit of this pink lace. Now, I don't want much at all. So I'm going to use about six inches. Take the needle and thread. Because you can just use scraps of this and scraps of that. Really easy to do these flowers. Um, these are what I call the shabby flowers. Um... And all your scraps can be used for these. So I think we'll call this the Scrappy Shabby <laughs> um, flower. Everybody knows that you collect lots and lots of uh, scrappy bits. I never throw anything away. So if you're anything like me, you will end up with lots of... Uh, scraps of this that and the other and uh, like I say I never throw it away put it in a box I've got a big tub actually with the handles on either side and I just go and grab a big bag full out of there and then sit and play with them uh, and that's all you need to do now I'm just going to do that see I've only done half a flower I'm going to put that on that side so that's half a flower there I like that. I've got some 
synthetic synthetic flowers which are going to look pretty neat oh that i like that as it is see look at that now i do have that stick pin which i'm going to pop in there like that now we we have the beaded stuff which is my all-time favorite of uh, what to use and i just glue that on and i'm going to actually pop that let me just see here in there like that so you're already altering the flower now i don't want this stuck out as much I'm just going to cut that off. I just think we need a couple more bits on it. So let's have a look what I've got in my little uh, collection here. I've got some leaves, some more leaves. Which I'm going to pop in there. I'm going to take that out I'm going to put that in there like that now that's great as that is um, but I also want I'm going to put another one in I think let's put one of these in And you can just build your flower out however you want I'm just gonna put that in there with that yes love it and then I'm gonna take this darker one um, and just attach that in there love that And you've made a, a, such a different um, but beautiful flower. Now, I'm just wondering when to take that one out. I'm going to take that one out. I, s I think I like that one better. No. No, wait a minute. I like that one. Yes, that's the one. See? And I've got such a beautiful, beautiful flower. So that's one we've created. I'll take close-ups of them. Because I use a nylon thread, you don't need to double it. Not unless I want extra strength. And they last... I buy these bigger ones, and they last a long time, these big reels. I only get them on the car boot, though. I won't go to the shop and buy them. Because you can get tons on the car boot. Which is similar to... The American uh, flea market for anybody that's not sure okay I might have to cut this one down a little bit I'm looking forward to my birthday soon we're just gonna have a we were gonna go out for a meal I've changed my mind I'd rather have a family get-together so we're gonna do that I've got Tati coming over from the Netherlands um, Melinda who works for me as you know and um, she's my friend and what else have I got oh god Julie can't miss her off can we Jules she was down last night oh we're having a night laugh yeah been a long time her and I friends uh, for those new people that um, have only just started following us, uh, you look back on the videos of Jules and Julie and I. I call her Jules. And um, you'll have a really good laugh, especially the Scottish holidays we go on. She's just as hysterical. She really is. And we've been friends. For those that don't know, we have been friends for 43 years. And I just, I love her to bits. She's like a sister, obviously. And, um, but we have lots of trips out. We go all over the country. 
admit a lot of the time we do go to Scotland because we love it up there and I used to live there for a while um, but just take a look at those videos if you're new to the um, channel and those of you that I've not said hello to who are new then I say hello now hello <laughs> you will um, if you are new to the channel you'll see we are a happy jolly bunch we'd um when i say bunch it's only me and then you lot bloody follow me but you know what i mean we're very helpful if you're looking for anything you can put it on one of your comments on the videos and anyone who else that's been here with me for a long time or you know fairly long will uh, help we're very helpful people no hassle no stress no bitching <laughs> we don't like that right let's get uh, another one of these on we just like to have fun and you will come across videos when I don't actually craft I just laugh because I do some of the older videos that were done um, with the webcam there's just one there where I laugh continuously and oh my god yeah we just laugh that's uh, I don't think I did a, a project. I started to do a project and couldn't get it finished for laughing. Well, <laughs> we can't do everything right, can we? Right, I'm just layering. Lair, lair, lair. Now, I've got some more of these that I've already cut. So, let me just see. Just chop it off, woman. There we go. I just love doing anything like this, you know, like using scraps up. I'm going to do it that way, I think. Just put it in there. Yes. Now, let's have a look at some of these that I've got. I might want to do that. Yes, I do. Just pop that on there. Hmm. I'll put some of this on as well. Let me see. Now I want that to go there, and just to hold it in, I'm going to put it on with a flower. Well, that flower will probably get hidden, but it's just a one like that. Now I've got a pink and white flower here. Do I want to put that in there? No, I don't even want to do that, so forget that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I need a glue stick. Getting ready. Let me just see what else I've got. Like I say, they're just basically things to play with. Oh, too purple. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, I like that. Have I got anything else to go with it? A couple of pearls. Beads, anything have a look what else I've got Ooh. just bear with me because I am playing oh it's a nice heart oh a bead there might put a bead in oh a couple of little flowers so yeah use anything and everything basically that's the only way to be oh I found some wings so I might find a stick pin to go with that Oh, I've got that one as well. See, they're just oddments because you don't need a lot. Let's see what we can do. I love to make uh, flower centers that's got all sorts in them. Yeah, I'm dropping all my bits. Let's have a look. Oh, you don't want to be doing that, Fee. Dropping all your bits, mate. Right, I've sat that in the middle there. I think I'm going to add that flower in there. I'm going to leave that so we can see that um, and just add into it a little flower, a little rose in the centre of that. So basically what I'm doing, I'm building a cluster. Let's have a look. We want something a little bit bigger than that, I think, Fee. 
Let me see. Hmm. What's that? Oh, I can do one of those. Oops, come here. Shiver my timbers. Right, what I've got now is just a little pearl drop that I want to add there. I'm also going to put this flower, which is a, they're only acrylic, in there, like that, with another little pearl flower. I'm going to put it in just there. like that and then I want one more thing here and I've got this uh, bead which I'm going to use and push that right in there like that just push it under because it's got all the colours of the rainbow in that see what a lovely cluster of flowers Now, just hang on in there because I have decided to add something else. I've not used for a while. I used to put a feather in everything. Right, let's have a look. Put some glue on that. I'm not sure. It needs to be there. Okie dokie. So we can get that under there, that's it. That needs to fit in there. Yeah. And then what I need to do is to get a stick pin. These are already made. Let me see. I love that one. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Nice big crystal teardrop. And you can see all of that. So that's another one. Just by playing around. You have to watch them on the website. They'll be uh, up there for sale shortly. Right, now I've found this little bit of trim. Which we can incorporate into a uh, flower. So again, I'm just going to find a bit of lace. I'm going to use this lace, I think. I've got this one now. Again, just about 12 inches. Um, take the needle and thread. Oh, I did not it. <laughs> Let's just trim that off. And hopefully the camera will stay for this one, and then I, I will put uh, another video on. I'll do some more, I mean. And join them all together, I think. So you can sit and watch me make flowers galore. I might actually use some doily bits with this one first. So, let me just see what I'm doing here. Uh. Oh. Yeah, a little bit more. Let's have a look at that. That's fine. I don't worry about that bit because that can be all sewn up and put into another flower. I'm going to leave another inch on it. I never fuss whether I'm wasting anything because I don't waste it. I use it for something else. Okie dokie, smoke it. Join these two bits together. Just put the ends together, give it a good tug. And a couple of tacking stitches. Hopefully you're seeing this. I don't want it to be out of shot. Let me just shove that there. A little bit of glue. Pin that together. Like that. Open that up. Now this is making roughly three to three and a half inch flowers. This is a three inch flower, but it might not be yet. <laughs> so I'm going to have the base. I'm going to put that little trim on it, but I'm just going to look for some uh, 
uh, other bits to go on it. Now I've got this doily, so let's have a look. How do I want to do this? Go on, off there. Right, I'm going to cut this off the middle. It's folded in half at the moment. Let's have a look. Yep, that's great. So we're going to use that. No, I do need to put that glue stick in. Sit that on there. So that's a three and a half inch one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right. So I've now got part of the other bit of the doily um, and it's too big so I'm going to cut that down. Don't waste that because you, you never know where it's going to be. Now what I'm going to do is just to pleat this a little bit. So like that. And I know people say, oh Fee, the glue don't seem to bother you. Um. I am used to it, but and it does sometimes. It's uh, I don't always get away with it. It does sometimes. Sorry if you're you're not seeing this. If I hit the spots that's not used to having hot glue on, you'll hear me go ow. See, because that does happen. Now. Just going to sit that on there. Like I say, I think I've got one of these leaves. I've just heard my door go downstairs. Um, I think my visitor's here. She hasn't been for ages. Ages and ages and ages. You know when you can hear it go sweeping across the carpet? That's I've just heard it. So she must be here. Now take this, and like I say, I'm just going to fold it in on both ends just to make the tassel for what I need. Like that. Oh my word, I can hear her. Oh sorry, you can't hear her. Yeah, I was I was thinking about having somebody look at this, you know, look into it for me, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just looking for a piece that might work, like that bit there. I heard the door go, um, slide across the carpet. There's no other doors open, so... We've not heard anything from uh, Christmas until just then. Right, I'm just going to make sure that I can glue them bits on, and that's sh that's going to sit there. Yeah, lift that up. Actually, sorry, I forgot to put the main flower on. Sorry, that's just going to sit there. Like that. Yeah, I like that there. And we're going to put a couple of these bits in. Like, just tuck that in there. Like 
like that. Um, let's have a look see what else we've got. Oh, we've got one of these as well. No, I don't want to do that. I'll spoil it. I've got um, one of these. Let's just have a look see what else we've got. Mm. Now, look, I've got one of these flowers, but I like the petals. So I'm going to take this one apart. Here, you go in the button drawer. Get in the button box. I'm just... Ugh. Oh, they glued them well. They're just little petals, but I like the colours and they, they mix. And it'll make a little... Uh, I can just shove that under there. Like that. I'm going to do another one, I think. Just pulling it off. Oops, it is. A good job that fell upside down. Like that. I'm going to take that one out. This is what I like about doing stuff like this. You can mix and match them how you like. Now, let me just have a look see what I've got in here. I've got another leaf, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to swap that in there. Put that underneath. Yeah, I like that. That's dangling, so we need to get a stick pin to go in there. Now, let's have a look. That might work. Yep, yeah, love that. I need another leaf. One of these. Let me see. I don't want that one. It's finding the right one, you see. You've got to... Let's have a look what we've got here. There's one there. So bear with me while I just trim this down. Like that. Turn it over for it's quicker. Get rid of all of this. This needs to drop in there. Like that. Yes. That's it, it was missing that. Um just gonna get some bits and pieces for it now. I want to put some smaller flowers in. So what I've got here are some uh uh oh well like a small rosebud. They're not called rose uh some at slip I think. Slip me bloody mind. <laughs> Oh, is it rose slip? Rose hip? Rose slip? I don't know. Forgotten. Gone. I'm going to put three here. Or two there. Oh, we'll put three in. Is it rose hip? Rose slip? Something like that. Not sure. Right, uh, we're going to have a little bit of this hanging. I will trim it down to what I need. Which is, that's going to come from in there, I think. Yeah, like that. That's it, that'll go for something else. Couple of bits missing. Couple of roses, methinks. Yeah, got some of these small rosebuds. Because you can, with making a flower, you can add as many flowers as you want. Like that.
Oh, that looks so pretty. They're just different. You don't need, you don't have all your flowers looking the same. I'm actually going to put one more just in there, to be honest. That's it. And I need one more here. So, let me just see. I think we need one of the bigger ones. Like that. Just there. That's it. And that's brought that section out. I actually like that. That's really pretty. So that's another one done. So we'll just put that back. Put these away. That can go back in there. Move this out of the way. So you can see what we've done so far. Oh, I'll pick it up later. <laughs> Cleaner will get it. So we've done that one. And they've all got stick pins. That one. It's really, really pretty one. That one. Out of just our odds and sods. So I will be back in a minute. Just going to make some more flowers. Now a lot of people ask me, oh I've got loads and loads of ribbon but I don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm just going to share something I do. Uh, now, do you know that's a bugger isn't it? Because when I want to look for something I can never find it. But then if you looked in the right place for you, you would. So, I've just got this ribbon here. In fact, I'm going to cut it, I think. Wait a minute. Just hang on in there. I'm going to use this in one of mine. Flowers, I mean. And um, just strip. I, about 10 inches. Oh, my scissors are crap. <laughs> Sorry, but they are. I need to get some new ones. I sell them, but I don't want to sell. I don't want to use the ones I've got for sale because people keep asking me for them, and then I think, oh, well, where are they now? So I'm just, you know, shaving all the edges off, sealing them off, should I say, like that. See. So then take your needle and thread. So I've got about, actually, it's about twelve inches. Yeah. Folded it, folded it, um, to the width of a petal. Cut it, burnish them, and then let's just, oh, not the end of your thread, Fee. Um, like I say, glue on me now. Uh, just do a tacking stitch to support that. Secure it, should I say. Small stitches, because you don't want it too big. And this is a two inch wide lace, uh, trim, ribbon, satin, and single sided. So that means um, the satin is only shiny on one side. Okay, now, depending on the size of this, yeah, we can make that into a full flower. If I'd have had half of it, just six inches, I would have only done half a flower and added that to the base. Um, of the flower itself that I'm making but because we've done a full 12 inch it will make a flower itself which is good so just do a couple of tacking stitches take the glue gun a bit of glue down one side oops you need to get that in there see See, and that's made kind of like a, a flower already. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and my needle. Take a base. Like that. Turn that upside down. Fix that to the back. Press that down. 
that's fine. If you see anything that's slightly, to, slightly fraying, just run your flame around the edge again. You don't want the flower to fray, but it will probably look even nicer if you did. So we've got that. Now, again, I've got these. I'm trying to use these up. So what I'm going to do is just glue mine on. Like, bring that in a little bit. Pinch it. That'll do, like that. Might put another one on, actually. Ooh. There we go. Might just do three, actually. Just pinch them to bring them in. I'm going to do another one here. Just now, wait a minute. Do I want that as much as that? Yeah, I can do another one. Got lots of these. Get a straight one fee, that'll do. Like that. That's it. It's just to lay. Again, let's take some of this. Now, do I want as much? That's in the way, but I'm not fussed. I'm going to do that and then take one of these. I've got like the, the middle of doilies that I finish with. And then I'm going to pop that on top there, press that in. Not fussed about that. Like that. I said I'm not fussed about this here. The glue gets everywhere. That's the only thing with this. Um, I'm going to do a, another leaf. Just to have a different sort. That can go straight there. Uh, I'm going to use this as the top, I think. Let me trim that off. Get to the size I need. Or like. Like that. Now, I've got some of these. We sell these in the shop. So, um, these, I think we sell them individually and we do them in packs. So you get various ones. And they are pretty. But again, like I say, I just like using them up in projects like this. So, I'm just going to pop that there. So we still can see everything I'm using and that's the whole point is to be able to see everything that I'm using. I don't need another one of those. I don't really want to do that. Hang on, here we are. Let's use one of these. So again, I'm just using up all odds and sods. I can't wait to see Tatty. Like I say, she's coming from the Netherlands. You remember I used to sell the Tatty kits. I'm sure we're going to get some more up and running and out for you all while she's here. I'm just going to put that in the centre like that. And I've got one of these really big, pearl, it's a half back pearl. And I've got one slightly different, so let's have a look. Do I want the button or do I want the button with that? I'm going to change my mind and have this one, I think. Let me just centrise that one a little bit more. That's it. It looks a bit funny. So I have to see this. I'm going to have to lift the flower up so I can have a look at it. Probably put it in the wrong place now. Like that. No, 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 like that. Now, again, I'm going back to my stick pins because I do have to use them up. Now, that's got a pearl in it that I don't want. 
Do I want that one? I do like that and it's got all them colours in it. Fits perfect in there. Yeah, just bear with me. Something missing. Bear with me, folks. You know me, I like to use up my uh, feathers in that. Because I don't see the point in having things sat there unused. That's not the point, is it? You need to use them. So I've just got my small cream feathers. Now, these are marabou feathers and we do sell them in the shop. We've always sold them. That is slightly too big. So I'm going to cut that. But don't destroy that, because that does as a butterfly. Look, it's flying. <laughs> don't waste! No waste. We don't waste anything. Just run the glue down the spine. I'm going to put that... When I can do this. This is what happens, because I, I do things and then I change my mind. But I am going to sit that in there I'm like oh that's beautiful beautiful no now I need I want a tassel for this do I need a tassel or do I want to put something yes now I've got these um which I don't often use but what I'm gonna do is cut that like that Trim that bit off. I'm going to use that as the tassel, which will sit there. That also as a tassel, which will sit there next to it. And I'm going to take some of my pearly string. And just... Glue those underneath as well. Like that. Yeah. A little bit long. But like I say, you, you have to just play around. Now, don't waste those because you never know when you've got to uh, go around something and you're using the same one and you end up with a gap. They come in handy, even if it's one pearl, cut them down, cut them down, cut them down. But again, look, just beautiful. Yeah, so that's another one. So let's have a look now. I'm going to use a doily that I've got here. Just keep bearing with me. And I'm going to cut this doily and just have those. I don't know if you can see. See the teeth, like the teeth in it, showing. It gives it a neat edge. Not that I'm, I'm after a neat edge, I'm not, but just saying. Okay, so that'll do take my um, patch at the back lay that down. lay that down put that on top turn that over and that's the start now what I'm going to do is take another doily like I say I love playing and uh, I'm afraid that's what I do a lot of. Just move those out of the way. So I'm going to take this doily, I'm going to cut it. 
in half and then what I do I just glue that in the center fold that over fold that over glue across it and add that to my flower and we'll do that again fold over fold over glue across there I'm going to overlap that because I just want that on that side now what do I want on this side well we're going to use one of these again at least this is using them up isn't it I sold tons of these hope you're managing to see everything I'm going to put it on there I think layer it like that okie dokie I'm going to use another one of these not just now but in a minute so I'll just cut it ready they're just these uh, like little applique things I'm off for my hair doing next week for my birthday and my daughter's treating me to um, a Mother's Day uh, breakfast as well I can't wait <laughs> she's paying for my hair doing and it's grown so long it's right down my back so I'm going to take before and after pictures I probably wish I'll never done either <laughs> um, yeah and she's paying for me for Mother's Day as well because Mother's Day is a couple of days, well, a few days after my birthday. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually taking that bar off there. Like that. You know what? I just fancy, I don't, yeah, I fancy that. Let's just have a look. I'm going to take the flower off now. See, I do this. Oh, God, I can do all sorts like this all the time. I'm going to put one there. And one next to it. Like that. And just build on this at the moment. Now... I don't want that on, so I have to take that off. Ugh! Oh, come on, off you come. It won't bloody do it, will it? Oh, sodgy then. I'm not wasting my hands on that. Let me have a look. See what I've got. I'm going to use some flowers, I think. Let's have a look. Oh dear. Um. I need some else first. Here, there we go. Got some of these leaves. Glue, glue. Right, that's going to go that side. Just tidy this one up. God, I hope you're seeing all of these because I'd hate to think you're not. That's going to go at the side of that. So that's letting that out. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Right, let me see, let me see. Now, I've got a bit of this doily. And it's not often I use square doilies. But I want this section. So what I'm going to do... I only want so much of it. I'm going to cut down the middle, then cut that out. I know some people go, oh, Fee, don't cut it. No. no, just do it. Never, ever dither, as my mother would say. Stop dithering. Get on with it. <laughs> don't dither about... Um, 
you know cutting anything out just do it I'm going to make this into a three petal thing I think let me just see now again just fold it like that and I'm going to shape it like that see how I've got a like a three petal thing and then I'm going to pleat it just pleat it like that and that's all I'm going to do see like that I'm going to drop that in there so that's given another texture I'm going to take it further in to my flower like that okie dokie it's now starting to look like something well let's have a look oh what else have we got right I've got another one of these leaves and I'm going to sit that just to enhance those under there like that yes that's what I want okie dokie smokey now let's get some flowers on it now I do have a burlap I'm just going to test it it might not work it does <laughs> it blooming well does woman so I'm going to use the burlap for the centre yeah, I was going to put that on, but I don't I don't need to. But you know what I am going to do? I'll show you. I'm going to cut every two petals. I'm going to cut them off. Like that. And just give them a bit of a glue. A dot of glue. I'm going to layer that so it does something with this section spin you around a bit layer that might have put that on back to front actually but never mind we'll do it again and we're going to layer that like that that'll do happy with that stick pin uh let me see do you know what we can have a totally different one i can't wait wait a minute let's see I don't want that one. Oh, i like that that's got a rose a carved rose bead so i'm gonna sit that in there so you can see it all oh lovely Ooh, nice. Now, where did I put those feathers? There's another feather. Hmm, I'm going to snip this. Now, let me just see. I want to sit it in there, I think between those yes perfect that's not that needs to come out and go in there yes but I've not finished because I need you remember the little like uh, what do they call them roses these roses I can't remember rose hip or rose slip or something somebody will tell me I just want a few of those Now, as you can see, there's not much colour in this, but I like the creams and the, well, the various creams. So I'm going to pop a little rose there. Now, I might 
actually do one in there. And another one just there. So that's three together there. And I need three here. One there. One there and one just above there. Like so. Yes. Oh, do you know what? I need three more now. <laughs> That's the problem. See, I've got me either side, but I need something here. So, I'm just going to... Yeah. One there. One there. And one there. One... Two, three, perfect. Oh, that's lovely. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And see, just by playing around with what you've got, I actually really like that. Hmm, now, wait a minute. Do I or don't I? No, I know. I think I'll leave that as it is. I do like that. So, like I say, just play. It's the best thing you can do. Grab all your little bits out and um, play. Have fun. Hope you like all of those. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.